What did they say? You need a new mind for a new year. Because if you don't have a, your mind renewed by the power of, of the Holy Spirit, you are going to repeat the same mistake that you have done this year. And the only thing that can renew our life is the Word of God. Only this book can renew your mind. Because if you keep with the same mind, you are going to do the same things that you did in this year, and you're going to fail in this new year. And I am here to say to you, God is giving you, in, in 25 minutes, God is giving you a new year. Or God is giving you one page in blank. There is nothing written in it. And what you are going to do with this new year that God is giving to you? And I want to start reading a verse in the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 13 and verse 14. Philippians, chapter 3, verse 13 and 14, that says, Brothers and sisters, <coughs> Brothers and sisters, I know that I still have a long way to go, but there is one thing I do. I forget what is in the past and try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. I keep running hard towards the finish line to get the prize. That is mine, because God has called me through Christ Jesus to live up there in heaven. Paul the Apostle said here, <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, one thing, one thing I do. I forget what is in the past and I keep running towards the finish line to get the prize. Paul the Apostle said, one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to forget what happened in the past and I'm going to, to run hard to the finish line in order to receive the prize. And this is the challenge, my beloved brothers, for me and for you. This is the challenge. You have to forget your past. You know what is your past. You know what your past is. Yeah. Thank you, girl. There are a lot of... Uh, they don't know. <laughs> Do you know what your past is? Is everything until you enter in this, in this room. Everything you did. And the Paul the Apostle said, one thing I do. One thing I do. I forget what is in the past. I try to hard as I can to reach the goal before me. I keep running hard towards the finish line to get the prize. I am here to say to you, please, you have to keep running. You have to keep running the race of the faith. Now is not time just to relax and to stay quiet. But it's time for you to run the race of the faith. In order for you to get to the finish line and to receive the prize. Would you like to receive the prize one day? But you have to, to run hard. And how are you, how are you doing? Are you run, r running hard? Are you serving the Lord? Today is a day that we need to evaluate our lives. 
Today is a day that you need to look back what we did wrong. And you have to say, Lord, forgive me. Not just to forget what you did. But today is a day for you to go before the Lord. And this is what we are going to do. Before 12 o'clock. We are going to kneel down before the Lord. And we are going to enter into the new year. Kneeling before the Lord. Humbling ourselves before the Lord. Because for me this is the best way for us to enter into the new year. Or saying Lord I have sinned against you. I have sinned against you and I need you are forgiven. Maybe you did something wrong that you shouldn't do. Maybe you sinned against the Lord. I'm not here to condemn you. But I am here to say to you. Please repent of your sins. Because God has a plan for your life. There are many people in this town. There are many people in this nation. They are lost. And they are going to hell. And you are carrying the light of Christ. You have a lighthouse that can show Jesus Christ to others. And there are many people. They are lost going to hell. And they are waiting to be saved. And God will save these people through me and through you. But to you, we, we need to take one decision. To look what we did and say, Lord, I, I repent from all my sins. We need to go before the Lord today. Maybe you fall in some kinds of sins. Maybe you were, you were tempted and you fall once again in this year. And now you need to, your mind should be renewed. And you need to renew your, your covenant with the Lord. And before 12, you have to repent from your sin. And you should say, Lord, I want to be transformed. I want to have a transformed and renewed mind. Because if your mind is not renewed, you are going to, to do the same mistakes that you did in this year. And you have to run the race of the faith. Would you like to run the race of the faith? Are you with me? Would you like to run the race of the faith? Amen. Beloved brothers, we are here to bring a revival over this town. We are here to, to bring salvation to these people. We are here to bring healing. We are here to bring deliverance to these people. Many people, they are dying on their sins. And we have the word of salvation. And we need to repent. Because most of us, what we are doing for the kingdom of God, we are doing nothing. You saw in these videos... We were doing many things. We were work with couples, teaching them how to be strong in their families. We were work with the children. We worked with the youth, with man. Every, every month we have we are preaching for man in order for man to be for the man to be man of God. And this is what we are doing. We are not stopping. We are doing, we are we are running. We are doing things for Jesus. But do you know, many times we are doing with no people to help. Are you going to say yes for Jesus this year? To say, Jesus, you can count on me? Are you going to give your life and say, Jesus, you can count on me? But do you need... Your mind should, should be renewed. Because if you. If you don't renew your mind. You are going to repeat the same mistakes that you did. And I want to read Ephesians 4.23. Ephesians 4.23. Says. 
be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Let's read all together. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Say that to the person next to you. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. If you, if you are not renewed in the spirit of your mind, sorry, you are going to repeat all the same mistakes. You are going just to look to yourself, to your life. I am here to say to you, you are not in this earth just to make money. You are not here just to work, to have a good life. You are here with a purpose. And God called you to this land, to, to this country, to use you. This is the purpose of God. I know God will prosper you. I know God will bless you, but this is not the goal. The goal is the Lord wants to use you that the light of Jesus can shine over this town, over these people, and bring salvation to those who are in, the, in darkness. And you need to change your mind. Your mindset, why are you living? Why are you in Ireland? Why are you in your neighborhood? In the, in the, in the place that you live? If you don't change your mind, you are going to miss good opportunities. Because a new year comes with good opportunities. A new year comes with new opportunities. And God will give you new opportunities. What you are going to do if these opportunities that He is giving to you today? And you need to renew your mind. Romans 12 verse 2. Romans 12 verse 2. Let's read all together please. And do not... Be conformed to this world. But be transformed. By the renewing. Of your mind. That you may prove. What is good. Acceptable. And perfect will of God. How many of you would you like to prove the will of God? How, how many of you would you like to, to do the will of God? But in order for you to, to, to receive what God has for you, you need to renew your old mentality. Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. Lord brothers, don't follow what the people are following. There are people who work beside you, around you, and they are, their lives are going to death. Don't follow them. Don't follow this pattern. You are not here in this country just to have things, to, to, to be rich. Or to... There are greater things for you. Paul the Apostle said there is one race that you have to run. And this race is the Christian life. Would you like to run? Are you with me? I want to run this race, to run until the end. And when you are running, beloved brothers, you cannot keep looking behind or, or looking back. When you are running, what you have to do? How you have to run? Just keep looking to the author and, and finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ. You have to... I always look to him and say, Jesus, oh, I want to look to you. I want to serve you. I want to be found faithful servant of God. And this is the word of God for you today. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you enter 2023, if your old mind, the things are not going to, to work. 
because that you may prove what is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. You need to determine not to go into the same mess that you have been committed. You need to say, I'm not going to go in the same errors of this past year. Can you say amen? Lord brothers, I'm not going to commit the same mistakes that I did this year. I am talking to the Lord. Lord, I want to be faithful to you. I'm not going to do the same thing. I may face new challenges, new mis maybe new mistakes. But I refuse, I refuse to commit the same mistakes of this year. And this should be your desire. Look to your, your marriage. How is it? Are you living a good life together? You have to renew your mind. Because the Lord has greater things for you. You cannot repeat the same mistakes. Say, Lord, I want to invest in my marriage. I want to invest in my wife, in my husband. I want to live a good life together. And you need to fix it. Are you married? Yes. Can you say amen? amen? All young people, single, have to serve the Lord with faithful heart. You have time. And where are you using your time? Not to serve the Lord. God has many promises for us. Do you remember that God brought the people from Egypt to bring it to Israel? Right? Did they enter? Did they enter into the promised land? Because they, they, they were out of Egypt, but with old mentality. They were out of Egypt, but they have one Egypt mentality. Because they were there serving the Lord, and they were thinking about Egypt, what they had in Egypt, what they ate. They, had, they were missing the cucumbers, garlic, and everything that were there. And they were serving the Lord with an old mentality. And if you keep this old mentality, you are not going to grow in the kingdom of God. How many people, they say, I, I love the Lord, but when you call, let's pray. Now I have no time. Evaluate your life of prayer this year. Sorry, if you are a Christian, you have to have a time of prayer. And we have prayer meetings in the church. We are calling people to prayer. And how many people are praying? One, two, three. It's a shame. It's a shame. You say that you are a Christian and don't pray. And you have to say, Lord, forgive me. If you keep your old mentality, you're going to repeat the same mistakes. Can you say amen? amen. Colossians 3 2. Colossians 3 2 says, Wow. I told you that I'm going to preach quickly. <laughs> but I have to, to fulfill my promise. I have to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Colossians 3 2 says, Set your minds on things. Set your minds on things. And not on. Again, read with me. Set your minds. And not on things below. Where you where you set your mind? Please stop set your mind here. You are so worried about things, about your job, about money, about things. And you, and how is the kingdom of God in your life, beloved brothers? We need to repent before the Lord. We need to, to repent. Stop wasting our time. Stop wasting. How many people they are wasting their, their time? Wasting their time in this. 
waste your time. You don't pray 30 minutes. But if you go and look how many times you are with the, in front of this mobile, two hours, three hours, some people six hours. And say they don't have time for God. Sorry, beloved God, but we need to repent. We need to repent. And this is the time to repent. And you have to decide. God is giving you a new year, man. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice in it. This is the year that the Lord is giving me. I will rejoice. Are you with me? Yes. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. Amen. This is the day. This is the year the Lord is giving you. You will rejoice. Amen. And this is the year that God is giving me. And now you go say, I will serve you, Lord. It's a decision. It's in blank. What will you, you do? Now we are going to pray. We are a few minutes for 12. I want all of you now to kneel or to go on your knees. And now we are going to pray. We are near to the... It's four minutes to 12 hours. But now I want you, please, new, go on your knees. This is the best way to enter into the new year.